So water is a, is a natural resource that's under increasing stress and increasing strain because of the developing global economy, because of population growth, because of changing climate. And businesses, governments, communities are all really waking up to the fact now that water scarcity, issues like water pollution, are going to intensify in the years and decades to come. So solutions are needed. But one of the issues, one of the problems then that we face in trying to develop solutions for water is that water is just one issue in a long list of problems that the world has to confront. Eliminating poverty, reinvigorating growth, uh, adapting to climate change, sustainable energy for all, the biodiversity crisis are all issues that the world's crying out for solutions for. But in this respect, water is actually very interesting because water cuts across all of those issues. So any solution for any of that list of issues has to include solutions for water. So the World Water Forum is important because it's the only point in the, in the calendar of global policy dialogues where all of the water actors come together to make new commitments to, in, to uh, policies and actions that will put in place solutions for water, solutions that are needed to address the, those major challenges that, that the world face. Remember that for water there is no equivalent to the UN Conference on, on Climate Change. So it's in Marseille and in, in the other World Water Forum that have occurred over the last 20 years. It's where the world comes together to make a statement about how we will solve water problems. Well, the main theme that they've selected for the forum, uh, the World Water Forum this time around, is very interesting. So the, the, the tagline they've given it is time for solutions. And it's very interesting because of two critical things. Uh, that the water world wants the rest of the world to listen to. The first is we're saying that we've done the diagnosis on water. We've identified that there are major problems that need to be solved with water. The second thing is we know what to do. The water community around the world is saying we have solutions for these problems. We know what to do. The time is now to start putting them into action. So the, the forum this time around wants to see commitments coming out that say we're going to start, we, governments, businesses, communities, organizations like IUCN are going to make commitments to start putting these kinds of solutions into action. So IUCN in, the, in this process is going to be trying to make sure that nature is part of the story of solutions for water. You know, nature is often uh, in, the water, in the water world, in other sectors, is often identified as a problem that needs to be solved. But in water, we can very clearly make the case that nature is part of the solution. Nature brings solutions that um, are a fundamental building block for sustainable futures. And this is because healthy ecosystems supply water, they help to filter water. So where ecosystems, ecosystems like rivers and wetlands are healthy, then people are better off and, and economies are more resilient. So IUCN then at the World Water Forum is going to be leading technical discussions, of course, but also leading dialogues with politicians and policymakers to make the case that nature provides solutions for water and for, and for meeting people's needs for water. Well, we want all of the stakeholders who are participating in the forum in Marseille to come away thinking that nature is part of the solution, part of the solution that water needs. And IUCN has many concrete examples from different parts of the world to make this case. So for example, nature is part of what we call natural infrastructure. It provides the natural infrastructure that, that you need to store water, to move water, to filter water, to buffer against floods. So for example, therefore, just building new infrastructure, pouring new concrete is not the only solution. We also have to think about nature as infrastructure and part of the solution. Nature helps to build climate change resilience. Uh, putting in place good water management that puts nature at the center uh, and making sure that policies and laws put nature at the center, we can show is an effective way forward. Um, managing the flows in rivers to ensure that you can allocate water equitably and sustainably to meet needs for energy, to meet needs for food security, to meet needs for cities. We can show as IUCN how to do that using a, a process known as environmental flows. And finally, we want to try and send a strong message from Marseille to Rio Plus 20, to the Rio Plus 20 conference. 
that sustainable and equitable water management is a fundamental starting point for building a green economy. And for IUCN, we want that message very clearly to include that nature and natural infrastructure are how you will put the green into the green economy.